Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you my the same makeup look. So, without getting late, let's get started. I always start with my brows and I'm just cleaning it using the LA Girl Pro Concealer and I will also use it as my eyeshadow base. Lately, I have been using the Morphe 39 L palette, so today I'm using that. At first, I'm using the set hookup using a very small blending brush and making kind of S shape above my natural crease because I have pretty hooded eyes. On top of the previous shade, I'm using the set Hot Stuff which is a red shade and I will use same technique as before. To deepen it, I'm using the set Till Dawn which is a black set and blending it with the previous shade. Make sure that the sets are blended well with each other so take your time to blend the eyeshadow really well. Using the same concealer, I'm gonna cut my crease and using a blender, I'm smoothing it out. I'm doing the same thing with another eye. For my simmer, I'm taking the set extra attitude and putting it on my lids. At first, I was using a flat brush but later, I used my finger to get that intensity. And for detailing, I again use the brush. For liner, I'm using the Sephora liner and making a winged liner.
After that, using the Lotus Pencil Liner, I'm lining my waterline. For lashes, I'm using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Moving on to my face, at first I'm using a gel moisturizer on my face. Also, I have already put on my lashes. For primer, I'm using the Touching Soul No Pore Blum Primer and pressing it on my face. As it is a smoothing primer, it will be easy to use a stick foundation. After that, I'm using the Creolon TB Pen Stick in set number 303 and using it as a corrector, I'm applying it under the eyes, chin and a little bit on my forehead too and blending it with a BH blending brush. Now I'm using the another Creolon TB pen stick in set number FS28 as my foundation and applying it all over my face. To blend it with, I'm using the Alley Girl Pro Coverage Foundation in set Nude Base and I will blend with rest of the foundation. I'm using the blender to make sure that there are no brush strokes left. Again, I'm using the same concealer as before for my under eye highlight. I will not use too much because I have also applied foundation on the it. Make sure the concealer is blended well. To set it, I'm using the Curdy Air Spun Loose Powder in set Translucent and I will bake under my eyes and let it be there until I'm done with my contour. For that, I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder in set number 35 to contour my face which means giving definition to your face. Also, don't forget to apply on jawline and forehead. At this moment, I thought the counter was little bit harsh so I'm again blending it with a small powder brush. The powder underneath my eyes was sitting there for a while so I'm dusting it off with a large BH powder brush. It's time for blush and for that I'm using the BH Glowing in Crease palette and applying the blush on the apple of my cheek and blending it with the contour. Using the same palette for my highlighter, I will be highlighting my cheekbones. Also little bit on the forehead, cupid's bow, tip and bridge of the nose and also on my brow bone. To line my lips, I'm using the Diana of London lip liner and lining my lips.
For lipstick, I'm using the MAC Bullet Lipstick in set D for Denzel. Now I'm taking the red shade and blending it on my lower lash line. At last using my all time favorite MAC Fix Plus to get that makeup all together. So this is my final look guys, I hope you enjoyed my video and I know this look can be little bit complicated but if you practice then you can definitely do it. Happy Dose guys, stay safe and healthy, see you in my next video, bye bye.